Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Bridget and today we're going to go over the five biggest tech hubs in the United States. We're going to compare them on things like salary, weather, and how many different fang companies are in each tech hub. Now, if you didn't watch my previous video on why you should live in a tech hub, make sure you go ahead and check that out after this one. Let's jump right into it. Starting off with the smallest city on our list, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington currently has about 200,000 tech workers and has a growth rate of about 32% between 2016 and 2021. If you're curious about where I'm getting any of the numbers or metrics in this video. Most of them are from the Visual Capitalist. I'm also going to link all of my sources down in the description box below if you feel like checking those out. In addition to having the highest growth rate on our list, Seattle, Washington also has very varying temperatures from about 37 degrees in the winter to about 87 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, which means if you like snowboarding, but you also like beautiful rainforest hikes, Seattle might be for you. In addition to all of that natural beauty, Seattle is rumored to have about 5,000 different species of mushrooms, and this is a conservative estimate. Now moving into our FANG rating of Seattle, Seattle has all of the big FANG companies we're talking Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, and Seattle is also home to the Amazon headquarters. So if you feel like working in the Amazon headquarters, Seattle might be the right place for you. Anyway, moving into our next city on the list, Los Angeles. Los Angeles currently has about 240,000 tech workers and has had a growth rate of about 10% from 2016 to 2021. Los Angeles also has the benefit of having a much milder climate. So if you're a Californian like me and you're more used to that 50 degree Fahrenheit to about 85 degree Fahrenheit in the summer, Los Angeles might be a better pick for you. Moving into our FANG rating of Los Angeles, Los Angeles also houses all of the big FANG companies, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, although it looked like with Netflix they only had non-engineering roles. If you check this out and figure out that they do offer in-person engineering roles in Los Angeles, let me know down in the comments below. The fun fact about Los Angeles is that the Hollywood sign actually used to be called Hollywood Land, and in 1923 it was being used to promote a housing district nearby. Eventually that that district went into disrepair, and in 1944, the city quietly adopted the sign and changed it to Hollywood. Moving into our next tech hub on the list in this nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. currently houses about 250,000 tech workers and has had a growth rate of about 6% between 2016 and 2021. Washington, D.C. also has almost all of the FANG companies, excluding Apple, but according to Apple Insider, Apple is going to move into Washington, D.C., so by the time you see this video, they may already be in Washington, D.C. For our fun facts of Washington, D.C., two of this nation's presidents have actually actually housed alligators in the White House. The first one being John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, and the second one being Herbert Hoover, our 31st president. Coming down now to our biggest tech hubs in the United States, we're moving into New York City Metro. The New York City Metro has about 350,000 technical workers and has a growth rate of about 3% between 2016 to 2021. This is a very similar climate to Washington, D.C., ranging in about 28 degrees in the winter to about 88 degrees in the summer. A fun fact about New York City Metro is that it has one of the largest pigeon populations in the United States. Pigeons were brought over in the 1600s and have been proliferating ever since in the city, partially because of the trash and partially because pigeons are just so darn hardy. Now, with our FANG rating of New York City Metro, at the filming of this video, all of the major tech companies are in New York City Metro. Let me know if this changes down in the comments below, but I don't think it will for a very long time. Moving into our final and largest tech hub on the list, also my personal favorite, the Bay Area. The Bay Area houses about 400,000 tech workers and has had a growth rate of about 13% between 2016 and 2021. As for the climate, the Bay Area ranges between 45 degrees in the winter to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Our fun fact about the Bay Area is that the Chinese fortune cookie was actually invented in San Francisco in the 1890s by Makoto Hagiwara, a Japanese immigrant. As for our FANG rating of the Bay Area, the Bay Area houses almost all of the FANG headquarters except for Amazon. We're talking the Facebook, Apple, Netflix, and Google headquarters are all housed in the Bay Area. Moving into our compensation comparison part of this video, we're going to use San Francisco as our baseline with a compensation of $173,000. Now, I didn't just pull this number out of thin air. This is Levels FYI's guesstimate of a median software engineering compensation in the United States. Now, I also used my favorite tool, Nerd Wallet, to help me compare the cost of living in these different tech hubs that we looked at today. And you can see from this table here the different salaries you would need to make to maintain the same level of living in each of these different tech hubs. Now, 
Now looking at those numbers can be kind of confusing because they're big numbers and there's a lot of them. So I decided to make a percentage column over here so you can see what percentage of the current income you're making in San Francisco that it would take to move to a different city. We can see here that New York City is one of the most expensive places to live and you would actually need to make 130% of what you're making right now in San Francisco to maintain the same level of living in New York City. We can also see here that the last three tech hubs, the smaller ones in our list, all have about the same cost of living. So it would all be about 80% of your current uh, of your current compensation in San Francisco. Now, of course, you can trade these out with whichever cities you want to work in or whichever city you're currently working in. Just go ahead and go to Nerd Wallet Calculator and look that up. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're considering moving to one of the tech hubs, this gave you a better idea of which ones might be right for you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.